Hey everyone, Big Mike here. Yay! Alright, let's play Mario Sunshine. Uh, this is part 5 of our 10 part game. So let's go ahead and get back into our uh, Delfino Island. Uh, we re recovered last time, uh, we found a... Uh huh? Okay, there's a... There is a teleportation beam out there in the middle of the island. So let's go see what's going on over there. Uh, those of you guys who have played Super Mario 64 might recall last time that a beacon of light appeared in the middle of somewhere you looked up to the sky. Well, here it's giving us a hint that, well, it's looking at the shine, so of course the shine is like a big sun. Well, that's kind of dizzying. Hopefully that's not causing anybody to get a headache or anything. But, in Mario 64, when you looked up at the light, um, something happened? Oh, here too. Welcome to Noki Bay. Noki Bay is level 5 or 6, depending on how you uh, want to treat it. Uh, let's uncork the waterfall that is in this particular level. So Noki Bay is normally a happy, water-filled place, except that water's not looking so great. So let's talk to this little Noki fella. These little guys are called Noki. Uh, what does this one have to say? Oh, Mario! Master Ma, Master Mario, I presume. We have heard much about you, yes, and all the good. As for me, I am just an old man who loves nothing but fishing. But lately I've had a terrible problem. Please look up there. Oh, man. Another one of those cannon things. That's a lot of goop. And somebody's been graffitiing all the walls, too. Oh, those meddling teenagers. I don't know who did it, but somebody, someone corked the waterfall. This, no doubt, is why our lovely bay has become polluted. And I can't even fish, and so I ask for your help. Yank that cork. Please fulfill this old man to <coughs> That was a genuine cough, too. What's that? You'll do it? Oh, thank you, thank you so much. I knew I could count on you. Just beware that guy on the cork. Okay, I am not doing that voice again. That hurt my throat because it was very like, <laughs> like a very not staccato. I don't know what the term is for, it, but anyway, we got to get up on top there and let's see here. How can we do that? Ooh, that's one way to that's one way to lift things up. So first of all, there's all this silly graffiti on the wall. Let's try and figure out a way to get rid of this stuff. Oh, oh hello. So apparently this graffiti was uh, uncovering some uh, platforms, so that will be actually pretty useful. So we, we will want to uncover these platforms. Uh, I think they just appear naturally in other episodes, but in this one we do have to uncover them. So let's just go ahead and get started with that. Ah! No! Mario! Mario! Oh, that was close. That was way too close for comfort. Okay. Anyway, we need to get up here onto the top of this thing, so let's just keep going up. Uh, of course we. Pr Whoa, was that kind of a glitchy? Not not glitchy. Was that? That was like, I should not have climbed, been able to climb up that fast. So I don't know what that. I don't know what that was all about, but I enjoyed it. All right. In the meantime, uh, let's just keep climbing here. Oh my gosh, I am getting up here much faster than I was in my practice run, which makes me happy. Because, ah, you, and uh, sometimes you can destroy these little block things. Sometimes they'll actually uh, leave canisters of water for you. I don't know why that works. Like, why would they have a canister of water inside of them? But some of them do, for some reason. Again, not sure why. Let's get up here, actually. Because we're not able to climb the walls that are down there. Hey, what's this little guy say? <coughs> oh, are you Mario? That guy down there is my teacher! I mean, like, my grandpa, <laughs> that cork is farther up ahead. Careful, though, there's a weird guy on top of it. He'll start topping exp or tossing explosives at you. I thought you might need help, so I got you this springboard. If you spread it, it'll shrink and be easy to carry. Please use it. Okay. Shrinky dink. Haha. -ha. Actually, yeah, so it is just a little springboard. We can actually use it down here, and it allows us to jump up here. Oh, yeah, much easier. Because you can't, it's hard to grab the walls right there, so that's why they implement the springboard. Of course, you can just hover it away your your way over it too. But anyway, here's that uh, annoying guy. So let's first of all try and clean up this sludge because um, if we don't, then the those creature things keep popping up. Oh, 
Owies? Okay. Alright, was that, was that a hit? I think that was a hit. I hope it was. Alrighty, and two? Maybe? I might have gone to him. What's he here? Number three? Yeah! Oh my gosh, that went so much easier than last time. Turn off the volume a little bit because the air conditioner just turned on. But we managed to uncork the waterfall, so hopefully this place will start cleaning up very nicely. And there is our shine. Right behind us, even. Sweetness. <coughs> so, how's everybody doing today? Today is uh, May 21st? It's the Monday. That's all I know. The Monday before Memorial Day. So, uh, what does that mean? So, for my channel, I am un unofficially on summer break for one more week. So, <coughs> what I'm going to try and do in during that time is just uh, go through as much of this game as I can. <coughs> this game and uh, Eternal Darkness as well. But now we are in stage two, the boss of Tricky Ruins. Well, here's the kid guy. Hello, thanks for all your help earlier. That was truly spectacular. Would you mind being my new teacher? I mean, never mind. My grandpa's up ahead. He wants to tell you something. All right, Grandpa, Grandpa, what you got to say? So in Eternal Darkness, Grandpa holds the secrets to uh, saving the world, and maybe in this game, too. That's kind of a... I just flashed a fish. That was weird. There was another one. Okay. Owie. What is this, Frogger? Anyway, here's the guy. <laughs> Way to go, Master Mario. You have returned our water hole to normal. Bravo. What's that? The ocean's still dirty. Strange. It looks like my theory was way off. <laughs> I don't mean to be coughing at the same time, but I am. That's okay. I think I got the lead on the real cause. Now, this may not seem like much of a reward, but I'm going to reveal to you one of Noki's deepest secrets. Uh, so looks like somebody had a painting up there. Ooh, what's inside that cave? Ooh. Well, this bay contains the tomb of an ancient Noki king. So who's the Noki leader now? Or is it you, Grandpa? When you spray water on the wall painting, the path usually opens. It's almost like magic. And what leads to a hidden shine sprite? Honest, that, that is all true. Well, maybe. Uh, he is also telling the truth about one of them leading to a hidden shine sprite. Uh, of course, we're not going to be getting that in the course of this game. But, that's definitely for you guys to explore further on by yourselves. So, in order to get out of this... Ah, Mario! Oh, dang it. That was not the way to go. So... Maybe I can do it quickly, quickly, Mario, quickly. I don't know if I'm gonna have a second chance at this, but okay. Oh my god, I did not expect to have that much time to do it. Uh, after a while, uh, no, Mario. Uh, okay, Mario. Yeah, Mario. That that, that was <laughs> Mario. Did you really have to fail twice at that part? For real. Anyway, well, well, we're supposed to climb up there on, to our, uh, on top, of course, but we got to wait for these whole things to close off again before we can try again. Um, the, there's a weird pattern that appears here on the side of the wall. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a montage of failure, isn't it? Oh, that's lovely. Anyway, let's just keep going. Okay, Mario, don't screw up this time. Please don't fall off. That's what you did last time. So there's more stuff actually if we go over this way, a bunch of blue coins and everything else. But we're actually going to go up this way. Hey. Ow. Okay, like I was saying this earlier, I don't know if any of these are particular things represent symbols. Any particular symbols or not, but they look cool. Of course, if I can try and see if I can... This might not work still. I uh, might have time to make it or not. I'm not sure. This is the correct way to go as it is. I kind of took a shortcut. Let's see if I can make this thing. Not sure. Not completely sure. Um, starting to close up on us, but we I think we've reached the top. But, and what's the... Why can't we get to the... Oh, hello. Hey, you. Long time no see. 
tentacle face. Well, not tentacle face, tentacle breath. I guess would be a better word. I don't know. Alright. Kill your babies and let's get back to business here. Ow. Come Mario, just grab it. So once again we have another bo a bo booper, booper, blooper fight that we're gonna have to deal with. Um, it's not again same thing as before like we saw in Rico Harbor. So nothing too foreign here. Just keep pulling on the nose, yanking and yanking and shanking and shanking. Uh, in the meantime, let me turn the volume back down. My air conditioner just turned off, so in the two seconds that I have to recover, I just did that really quickly. Alrighty, sounds good. So like I mentioned, um, I'm kind of on vacation still, so what I'm going to do is, uh, for this last week of freedom that I really have, it's really my last notion of freedom for the week. So I'm going to try and get through at least two more videos of Mario Sunshine, and at least one more chapter in Eternal Darkness. Again, Eternal Darkness I'm playing blind. Uh, very different game. Whoa! Hello. Boom! Mario, that was quite a fall without getting hurt at all. Uh, I think actually if you, if you like, water the coin... There's, some, there's like a blue coin in here somewhere. I don't remember where exactly, but... I think that's a one-up, actually. <coughs> No, that's okay. That's a Noki shell. Never mind. There's like a hidden blue coin in here somewhere. I don't remember where exactly. Oh, there it is. So if you're looking for the blue coins, there's one of them. In the meantime, let's just grab our shine and let's head out of Noki Bay for a little while. We got two shines in here. That was pretty cool. But don't forget, there was a, that whole other level that we uh, discovered last time uh, by opening the or by removing the pineapple because we had a very hungry Yoshi. You guys see that pipe there on the right side now. We can actually head in there as well. With, with that, and we don't need Yoshi to do that either. So, let's just head over that way. Ugh, Mario, thank you. So, this is actually uh, the other level that we, we've explored, that we've uh, uncovered for this particular video. Welcome to Serena Beach. Sirena is also like, I don't know if it's Italian also, but I know Sirena is also Spanish for like, mermaid. So, Mermaid Beach. But for now, uh, this beach is in trouble because it is being onslaught by a Manta Storm and there's weird electro goop. I heard that this place has like a really swanky hotel, but I won't see any hotel. Do you guys? Uh oh. Well, there's some mad people. And there's some like janitor trying to clean everything up. Hey, what's going on? What is this nonsense? You! Fix it! Well, gee, that's very demanding of you. Whoa, 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 the hotel's vanished? What does that mean? How does the hotel just vanish? And you look oddly calm. You're behind it, aren't you? Oh, please tell me my nightmare is over. You can save me! I don't know why, but you just look very uh, capable of me. Listen, it all started around noon. This giant man shaped uh, thing showed up. It was it was paper thin, uh, a floating silhouette. It came and covered the hotel grounds in this electric goop. Then, oh, the horror! My beautiful hotel, my poor building. It sank in the middle of that. I will lose. Why? Now I've got the staff cleaning up. But where's my hotel? What am I supposed to do? I can't just sit back and ah! It's back. That gossamer ghoul do something. Whoa. Uh -oh. How can you just attack something paper thin? We're not playing Paper Mario. That thing's kind of big. Um, what are we supposed to do? Ow! Spraying it with water causes it to divide. Oh! Why? Well, thank you for telling me, Flood. Uh, so can we keep dividing it into like smaller and smaller pieces? Hey, it is getting smaller! So now there's at least like four pieces, and now it's gonna go into eights, and then it's gonna go into, oh my gosh, 32s, if not smaller than that. Oh geez. Okay, so it looks like it gets into as small as 32, so I don't know how many there are altogether. I'm just gonna guess 128 of these little thingies that we have to kill. That's a lot, still. And of course you actually don't kill any of them until you get to, whoa, be careful Mario. That electric goop is probably painful to you too, so... Oh my gosh. Ah! Okay, so the goop itself just seems to like... 
toss you backwards or something? I don't know. Oh man, it's, they're, they're everywhere! They're everywhere! So there's at least like a hundred of these things, oh my gosh. They're just totally like littering up the place too, so hopefully we can kill enough of these things off so that... Uh oh, now they're all after you! Um, and I'm out of water. That is great. Well, it's a good thing we're at a beach, that's for sure. Okay, water attack. It's super good on electric types, even though that does, that is not how it works on Pokemon in general. One thing that always surprised me though with Pokemon was that water was neutral to electric types. You know, normally I thought uh, when you have two types, it normally works like one way is super effective, you know, causes double damage, and the other one, the other halfway or the other way is not very effective, so it causes half damage. With electric, um, with electric and water, water just does normal damage to an electric type, even though the electric does have the, uh, obviously typical super effectiveness on the water type. Woo! It's a merry-go-round of dying. How many more are there? Hello? Oh, hey, all the goobs gone. And... Oh no, I thought we were- I didn't think we were playing Hotel Mario! No, this is Hotel Delfino, don't worry. But, at least the hotel has resurfaced, which is good for the customers inside. Uh, oh, well now what- now what are you guys yelling about? It's back! This is just crazy! Hey, what is this, a prank? Don't try to fool me! <sighs> Some people are never satisfied. Go backwards, Mario. Alright, there we go. So, let's go ahead and see if this hotel is done yet, if its customers are happy, if the management is happy. I don't know. Uh, I think for a while we're going to keep getting this uh, shot of Noki Bay, because it's like, ooh, mysteriousness, and stuff like that. But again, there's not a whole more whole lot we can do in there, so well, we can just go through the levels, but yeah, let's check out more of Ho uh, Hotel Delfino and Serena Beach. So, the lobby, the secret of the hotel lobby. Hmm, already? <coughs> so does this mean we actually get to go inside the hotel? Everybody's still stuck outside, what gives? There's the hotel, it's back. Can't everybody go inside now and un check in and whoa, hey, there's more guys out here now. Oh, he was one of the He was one of the janitor guys last time, wasn't he? Well apologies, the hotel's still being prepared. Oh, uh, we'll let you in as soon as we uh, as soon as we're able. Please be patient. And Ooh, is that a cantina? Wait, I didn't know you could like can you sidle on the straw hat? That was weird. That was really weird. How did I do that? I don't know. Which... <laughs> oh, hey, I did not know you could do that. But well, that's cool. Anyway, uh, I'll take a coconut on the rocks. To tell you the truth, I was worried about what might happen. Well, yeah, you're the bartender. You hear everybody's stories. All right, dude, what's up? Why are you not letting people inside? Um, it's Mario. It's Mario, right? Yeah, Mario. Listen, uh. I have a feeling you can help me out again and see the, the hotel. It's uh, well, it's it's full of ghosts. So, well, uh, could you maybe like look inside, please? I can I can tell you're a miracle worker. Don't be so modest. Uh, all right, you. Yeah, you got ghosts. Yep, you have ghosts. All right, my analysis is done. Oh, hey, dude. At this rate, I'll never get back home. Can't you do something, please, Mario? Oh, we're trapped in the hotel. Alright, yeah, so obviously there are regular boos, and then there are these pink boos. Um, pink boos like to turn into blocks. And with these blocks, we can actually climb the floors of the hotel, because for some reason the staircase is closed off due to a fire hazard of some sort. It's a mystery. Alright, anyway, so we still have more of these uh, pink guys, so let's try and use them to... Ah! Ebity, 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 ebity. Okay, that was... Alright, and... Whoa, 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 can you make it Mario? Yes, you made a Mario! Alright, so, something's going on here in the hotel lobby. 
Yeah, that would be something. That would definitely be something, huh? Alright, well, let's figure out what's inside here. Oh, it's another floodless level. We can deal with these. These aren't terrible, except for some reason on this one I just have a very hard time. So I there might there may very well be a death montage in this particular level. Uh, let's just keep going. So these little things, I don't know what they're called, I forget what they're called, but they're kind of like the Goombas of this game. They're just kind of like, ooh, I want up. I might have to utilize you. Alright, so we need to get across here. Whoa, we Mario! Whoa! That was way too close. Rule number one of jumping. Don't go, don't try and change your direction midway. It usually does not end well. So, obviously we have different shapes in here. Uh, most obvious one is just the traditional Mario brick, which we have to hit from below. Uh, there's also watermelons that we can stomp on, but that's not super useful for us right now. Uh, we do know what these sand blocks do. Whoa, Mario! Whoa, 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 Mario, 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 Mario. That's one way to get down here. Okay. Um, uh, 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 Mario. Okay, okay. That was that was completely unexpected. Okay. That is one way to get over here, Mario. The other way is that other path, sand path, which we meant to take, but. Mario decided at the last minute to, um, belly flop instead. And there's another one up here if you need it. I'm gonna be honest, this particular, uh, Mario or, or Floodless run is very hard for me. I don't know why. I just have a really hard time with it. Partially because of this jump, I never had really not know a good time to actually just... Okay, yes, okay, now go Mario. Go Mario, go. Go Mario, go, and go! Okay. Uh, again, in my practice runs, I must have died there like five times. So, oh my gosh. And, you know, it's just really, you know, a luck thing. How well the thing's gonna go. But, okay, so we got rid of the ghosts in the hotel. Maybe now the hotel is open? I don't know. Uh, there's still the mysterious glowy thingy in Delfino Plaza which we know is Noki Bay, but we've done the hotel, we've done Noki Bay. Uh, let's go off, actually, and finish off one of the levels. So if you guys recall, there are two levels that we already have accumulated six shines on. One being Rico Harbor, and the other one being uh, Gelato Beach. So let's go ahead and actually finish off uh, what we need here in Rico Harbor. And sadly, this will be the last time we visit Rico Harbor in this particular Let's Play. Shadow Mario revisited. So Shadow Mario has found his way into Rico Harbor, and we have to stop him. Where is he? There he is! Let's get him! So just like in our chases with him on uh, Delfino Island, Oh, we just have to basically, uh, get him, you know, find him, uh, find him, wet him down, and get him to stop. Ow. Where is he? Where did he go? Ow, Mario? He's up there. Oh, man. Okay. Maybe with this, uh, straightaway, we can... Where'd he, where'd he go? Oh man, he's over there now? Sheesh. Ah. Alright, can we get him from this angle? I don't know. Maybe not. Ah! Uh, Mario, 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 you can't make it back, can you? Darn it. Ah, uh, okay, so we lost... We're all- oh man, our trail's gone cold. That's a shame. Well, maybe I could use this, uh, Chuckster guy to give me up? I don't know. Just maybe. How about I toss you straight up in the air sometime? Yeah! That almost worked, dude. That almost worked. Um, just- uh, okay. He's- this is- he is probably my best way back up. So let's try a little bit- a little different angle. There it is. Okay, now where is Shadow Mario? That's the question. Well, hey, get away from me. Get away from me. So 
kissing. Where is Shadow Shadow Mario? Where are you? Shadow Mario, what to do? You gotta be around here somewhere. You just got to be. Alright, the music's obviously picked back up. Um, so where is you at? Oh, there you are. Ow! He hit me! Ow, not, not nice. Not nice. Oh, man, you were like two hits away. Darn it. Fairy, I don't remember this. I changed Shadow Mario's voice every single time. That's okay. But so we, there we go, we closed out our fifth shine for this particular video. So let's go ahead and wrap up uh, what we've done here. Let's go ahead and just save and quit. Uh, oh wait. Actually, 25 is a pretty important number. So let's hightail it back inside really quickly before I cut off this video. Ah, uh, hurry Mario. Okay, Mario, Mario. We have important things to do, important places to go, important people to see. Like, who? Who do we have to see? Why, more Shadow Mario! And what's he got there on it? What's he carrying? And he's over by Rico Harbor right now. Uh, let's go see. So, yes, another, yes, another chase is on. Oh, no, now we gotta go over the buildings. But what's he got? What kind of a funky toy, funky looking toy does he got over there? Alright, and... Oh, man. Oh, he's over by Yoshi! Oh, no! You leave my Yoshi alone! Yes, that's right! Rats, and I was just about to Turbo Dash, too! But we actually put, uh, collected the Turbo Nozzle, which is... I don't think we've actually seen it yet in any of the levels, but the Turbo Nozzle actually allows us... Uh, it's this gray box that we... You might have seen it in a level two, I can't recall for sure. But basically what it allows us to do is it allows us to turbo dash uh, anywhere we want in the world. So, you know, obviously it uses water as our energy, but it helps propel us at a much faster rate than any of the, uh, than just going around by, you know, by running around by ourselves. So what's a fun little thing to do? Whoa, that was one way to kick a durian. Man, that was like serious, some serious durian ball durian skills. Let's play some ball right now. I think I just kicked that one in. Yeah, whoa! Did you see how far that went into the ocean? Oh my gosh. That went really far. Uh, anyway, there's a bunch of stuff out here in the ocean. Well, not that much stuff, but there's some stuff. There's this island out here with a poor dude who's been stranded and if you guys know anything about the lily pad uh, death water level, that's where that one is. So... Um, I did make the video for the Donna Bell Challenge, if you guys want to see that, it's somewhere on my channel. I just called it Agua de la Muerte, you know, death water in Spanish. Because, why not? I guess I could have called it, like, whatever it is in Italian, but I didn't. So, anyway, let's go ahead and just stop here. We've been goofing around for long enough. Uh, this will be Big Max saying, later.